This is gonna take a while. <laughs> Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. I'm so happy to have you either way. Today we have a whole big box of items from AliExpress. I went on a no buy for many months. So a lot of this stuff is honestly really from last year. This box just keeps getting filled with stuff and I keep putting new stuff on top and I haven't bought any new stuff from AliExpress since I think April. April of this year and we're already in October. Um, so most of this stuff is like really super old but like I can already see there's like some really cute stuff here and I'm really excited to show you. So let's hop in but first like grab a drink or like grab a snack or like something because this, this is gonna be a lot. All right, so in this first package here, it looks like, oh, it came with a little gift. It looks like we have some crystals. I believe these are from the VVD store. Yeah, it doesn't say. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, the VVD store. Um, so I haven't tried these crystals before, and if I did, it was a really long time ago. But I've seen a lot of people on YouTube using them and loving them. So I thought that I would pick up a few different grids that had a different variety of products. So we have the blue, we have this more like spring summer style, another like more pastel one, a pink one, a purple one, and a white one. I thought I would look at a variety of different things. Oh look, it looks like they even have numbers. So if you needed to denote which one was which, you could. Um, but I thought that I would give them a solid go by um, testing out a whole bunch of different colors and styles that they have. I want to see their wear time and, and stuff like that and really just try to understand why people love them as much as they do. So this one here, this one says number two. Um, and the reason that I got these was because I like the ones that are unfoiled. I think that they look pretty cool when you're putting it on any nail color because it kind of adopts the color that you put under it. So yeah, so you have like this one here. This is like a, like an electric white or light gray delight. Yeah, they're really, really beautiful colors and they shine really, really brightly. So I'm excited to be using those. This purple selection is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, this one here reminds me of Vitriol Light from um, Swarovski. Oh, even these ones, these ones are unfoiled. And then these ones here are the new, look like the new ones that Swarovski came out with. So really, really excited to give these ones a go and see what their wear time is or what they end up looking like. This one here, I was absolutely obsessed because Swarovski doesn't even have this level of colors. Like they don't have something like this. Their green is kind of something in between these two. This pink doesn't really exist. So I thought that these would be really cool, unique ones to try. This one here has some pinks that look pretty identical to one another. Like this one here, honestly, not a big fan of that one or this one, but I'll have to see it in a design. This peachy one, like the color is cool, but I'm not sure. I prefer ones that shine like this or like the opalescent ones are really cool too, but I'll put them to the test and I'll see. Like these ones probably not for a while because they're more like summery colors and we're already deep into the fall here. Well, not that deep, but it feels deep. These ones here, these are absolutely gorgeous some blues, some aquamarines. These colors here would be great for this time of year, especially this one. This one looks really cool for Halloween. This one is a nice one. This one would be cool for Halloween too. You could use it for Christmas, I suppose, but I like that color for um, Halloween because it's a bit more like green and purple and stuff like that, like Halloween colors. And they gave me a little mix here. So thank you to the sellers for that. So we'll put that to the side, get rid of this garbage. And then in this next package here, I don't actually know what we have. Oh, okay. So these are for earring making. If you're into that sort of stuff, this is just a little um, pendant. So I'm sure that you could buy this for, um, buy this and use this for a necklace, but I got these for earrings. I can't remember what these were, but like everything, it'll be linked down below if it's still available, but I thought that was super cute. 
So let's keep moving on. In this package here, it looks like we have a stamping plate. So this one is Mr. Fox LB015. So we have this plate here. This one has a whole bunch of different stuff on it. Good for any time of year. You have this fox here, these two fox here. Uh, you have this, um, looks like a polar bear hugging a fish, which is absolutely adorable. You have these penguins, another fox, a dog. Oh, a little um, polar bear on an ice cap. Oh, this one says, I love you, a koala. Lots of really cute stuff in this one. Okay, so in this next package, it looks like we have a drill bit. This one is Wilson. It doesn't say the style, but I will link it down below. I purchased this one a while ago from Opre, um, and it works really well. So I thought it would be cool to test it out from um, Wilson also to see if it is any different, like better or worse. And then in this package here, it looks like we have some glitters and some chromes. So they gave me a sample glitter, which is so beautiful. Look at the shine on that. Oh my gosh, it's not even coming through on camera. This is like absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so it looks like we have a silver glitter here. These, oh wow, okay, this is very holographic. This way it looks silver. And then with the cap off, it looks insanely holographic. What I like to use these glitters for are um, jelly colors. So if you put this on a nail and then you put like a jelly orange or a jelly brown or a jelly red or whatever, um, it'll make that color look like a glitter color. And it just, it has like a really cool effect because of the glass gel makes it look like layered. I'm not quite sure how to say it, but I hope you get what I mean. And then this here is perfect for this time of year. I don't know if you can see, but it's like black, but green, but red. Do you see that? I'm not sure if it's coming across on camera, but it is green and purple and red and blue. Like, can you see that shift? Like here in my eyes, I see red. And then here I see green. I hope you can see it. This is absolutely stunning and this will be great for Halloween and then also Christmas time because it's got all of those Christmas colors too. And then we got a bunch more glitter. I really wish I knew what prompted me to purchase these. I'll make sure to put these in acrylic and swatch them and put them to the side right there so that you guys can have a better idea of what this looks like. But I'm not sure what made me buy it, but I'm glad that I did because it's kind of like a flake glitter mixed with a, like a fine glitter. I'm not quite sure how to explain it, but it's so pretty. So we have it in blue, we have it in like a pinky purple, another blue, another kind of purpley color, a pink, and then this one here, this one looks so cool. This is just straight holographic, but I hope that you can see Wow, I hope that you can see the dimension in this glitter. So pretty. So in this next package, it looks like we have a bunch of mixed stuff. Okay, so let's start with this. So these are just some nail tips. I'm not sure why I got these. I don't really use this style of tips and like there's no way that this is going to fit my wide thumb. So I must have had a reason for purchasing these, but I don't quite remember what it was, or maybe that was a mistake. Oh, we have more of these mica flakes. I have too many of these and definitely didn't need to order this, but nonetheless, I love it just the same as the first one that I bought. And then, ooh, okay. These flowers here, I love including in a crystal cluster. And I like that these colors are all like very dusty, very fall vibes. I love that this green color is perfection. This purple, beautiful, this one here, and like this denim color. I love all of them. Okay, and then it looks like we have a bit more shell. So these colors are a bit on the darker side, which again is really perfect for this time of year. So we have purple, pink, beige kind of peachy color that aqua color this like yellowy ochre color super duper pretty and I love these ones that shine like the rainbow colors and then this one here I remember this one being advertised as some sort of like a Christmas mix which 
I think I could agree with. I'm not going to open up the top on this one. I hope that's okay. So we have the flat back pearls, the round pearls, snowflakes, like these caviar beads, um, some stars, four point stars, butterflies, which don't really make sense here, more stars, some like crystal color chitons, and then flat back in red, emerald, and uh, light green. So this would actually be really perfect for somebody who just needs a few things for a um, for a um, Christmas set, or like if you're doing Christmas nails. So the next thing that we got are some flowers here. These are super cute. So they're kind of like charm versions of the flowers that everybody's been doing recently. If I'm going to be honest, these look a little bit weird because there's nothing in the middle. So I'm not sure how they would look if you glued some like caviar beads in the middle or what. Um, we can put this on a nail and see how it looks in comparison. Okay, so this is what this one looks like on the nail. As you can see, it sticks up quite a bit. Um, so this would probably be good with some chatons around it. But nevertheless, it's pretty. And then it looks like we got some other ones also. It looks like we got these ones too. So these ones are quite different and they're much smaller. Super duper pretty though. I love the gold and the um, purple. So that's what that looks like on the nail. Really great size. And that's what it looks like from a side profile. So definitely something that can be used on shorter nails and also won't be too much trouble to add onto the nail without having to add too much extra bulk. Looks like more charms in here. So these ones here say love. These will be perfect for Valentine's Day. And I'm sure you can see that these are curved to the nail, which is awesome. We love that. <laughs> Get it, love? So you see it says love. It doesn't stick up. It goes right across a pretty wide nail. So hopefully that could fit on your nail size too. But it looks like we got the same ones in purple, but also in pink. So that's great. And then these ones here, I'm not going to open because these are going to be a bit of a pain in the butt to organize. Um, but these are just little cabochons here. So it looks like they have some flakes and some gold in there. You have it in this like peachy color, this like jonquil color, a nice dark um, blue, a red, like kind of like pinky red, a nice neon yellow and a purple. These I really like to do like in the middle. So I'll do like one of those in the middle and then like do two crystals and then another crystal so it forms like a triangle. Okay, next we have a tiny little bit of shell. So I wonder if this was a gift or what it was, but it's very uh, rainbow, which I appreciate. And then this one here, oh my gosh, these are so cute. So it looks like a multicolor mix of different mushrooms. I've never seen mushrooms like this before. These are so cool and they look weirdly realistic, like especially this one here. So you have pink, you have green, you have white, red. Oh my gosh, these are adorable. So let's pop this on the nail. How cute is that sizing? If you can see, it doesn't really stick up. That is so, so, so cute. Happy to have that. Next, it looks like we have another little piece of shell. This is like a very like Barbie pink. If I'm honest, I'm not even sure if I have a color like this. And then next in this bag, there's still like, this is all the same bag. Oh, okay, so we have a few more of these mica flakes, but these are more of a very dull champagne -y gold. Awesome. And then this one, I don't remember ordering. And honestly, I'm going to put it in a giveaway bag because I never use stuff like this. They stick up a little bit too much for me and I just don't like them. So I'm going to put that to the side. And then, oh my gosh, these are cute. So these are like, they look like four leaf clovers, but in different colors, we have purple, peach, white, yellow, like a minty color and a pink. So that is super cute. So it's a very similar uh, take to those flowers that were recently popular, but instead of having five or six leaves, this one only has four. That's cute. And then, oh my gosh, more shells. Okay, so this 
So this has a whole bunch of different styles of shells. I like that it has this, these darker ones in here too, along with these lighter colors. You have this like yellowy one and then these like stark white. This beige is my favorite. So happy to play with those. So in this next package, it looks like we have, oh, a couple foils as gifts. So thank you to the seller for that. And then it looks like we have a couple of molds. I'm still kind of working on my mold game. I've worked with a few of them and have really enjoyed them. But if I'm being honest, I'm still getting the hang of it all. So this one is really cool because it has, I'm not sure if you can notice, but it has like a little angel and then a frame and then another little angel down here. You have the fleur-de-lis here and then a smaller fl flame, smaller fleur-de-lis and smaller um, angel or cherub, I guess. So that is cool. I'm excited to use those. I love how small and dainty they are because then you can use them for any size now. And then this one here is, oh, this one's better. This way, this way. Uh, so this one here is a whole bunch of different um, frames. And these ones, these are really shallow. So these are the ones that you put the gel polish on and then scrape. Oh, this way is way better. Yeah, so these are really, really, really cool. I have a whole bunch of these in like metal charms. So I'm happy to be able to make them in different colors as I choose. All right. And then in this bag here, uh-oh. Also, uh-oh. Okay, so it looks like we got some stuff from the Colors World, which if you know, they sell collections of glitters. So this one here, I'll go through pretty quickly because I've hauled stuff like this before, um, but these are just different mica flakes. I honestly can't tell you what compelled me to buy these because I feel like I just bought um, every color that they kind of had. So I'm not sure if there was a sale or if there was something like really compelling about this collection or like what the heck happened. But I really like using these different mica flakes in Nuance Nail Art. So this one has like really like dark moody colors. So we have a gray, we have a black. I'll link it down below also. So if you want to see it more in depth, but I don't want to bore people who are not into this stuff because I know this is like a little niche. Um, but I really like the sagey color here. We have two different beiges, which is great. I love beiges and nuance nail arts. So this one here, both kind of like off-white style colors. This blue is gorgeous, red. Ooh, this one, this is really nice, uh, really nice like brownie, beigey color. Another red, an orange, a brown, a um, green. Really, really great uh, uh, selection of colors for uh, the fall, that's for sure. And then look at this thing over here. So this is most definitely a Halloween collection that I must have bought last year because I haven't bought this anytime recently. And so cool that I got these in three grams because if I'm being honest, I was buying too big before. And now at least this way, I can try out these colors and then buy the bigger ones. Okay, so this is Hollow 3030 and the search number is TCT839. So let's open all of these up. Okay, so let's look at this one. This one is really calling my name. So this is a beautiful purple and it looks like it has some four point stars in there also. So it looks like you have some fine glitter and then different hexagons and then, ooh, four point stars and then regular stars also. So this one is 839, I guess, no. Oh, this is 3033, okay. So that's the portion of this collection. And then let's look at this one. This one is super cool. So you have like a light green and then you have a hot pink and then you have some stars in here also, but mostly black and then, oh, what is that? Okay. That is so cool. That is so, so cool. Okay, so this one is 3028. And then this one here is really cool also. So it looks like all of these have stars. And then it has this like really interesting thing in it. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be. If it's supposed to be like a poison symbol or what. But okay, so this one is 3030. This one here is gorgeous for the fall time. So you have this yellow, beautiful yellow. 
this really like matte yellow and the shiny red and then the black. And then it looks like this one has little red bats in it. Wow. This is really, really cool and unique. I really like this collection. This one here, this is quintessential Halloween. So you have the matte, like bright orange, light orange. You have the yellow and then black stars. And what else do we have in here? Some bats too. Oh, and then look, a little cat. A little cat in, um, in yellow. Wow, how cool. That one was 3031. Ooh, this one's cool with the bar glitter. So you have bar glitter and four pointed stars. And then you have this like coppery color, silvery color. This one is 3023. And then, ooh, this one's pretty. So you have like your matte white. Oh, this one has crosses. It has the hollow stars, silver, bronzy, black. Cool, that one is 3026. This one here, another quintessential. Halloween one. So I like that you have the matte purple, you have the lime green, you have black, you have bats, stars. That is cool. And that is 3032. And then 3022 is just a pink one. And it looks like it has some crosses in it also. And then this one is 3025. All right. And this one has like purple, matte pink, white, black, and a whole bunch of stars, some regular stars, some hollow stars, like hollowed out stars, I mean, you see like with the cutout. Okay, that one was 3025, and then this one is 3024. Okay, cool. So this is, okay, so you have the crosses, you have the stars, the four pointed stars, looks like black, purple, and silver. Cool, and that's 3024, and this one is 3027. Okay, loving the lime green in here. So you have lime green, a kind of iridescent one, purple, and a whole bunch of stars. Really, really happy with those. Okay, let's keep moving on. So it looks like, oof, oof. Okay, another set of glitters. Let me open up all these ones too. All right, so let's look at these glitters. They look so cool and unique. So this one here, it looks like it has some shell pieces, has some bar glitter, it has some like chrome, some flakes, these like strands here. These are so cool. This is a really, really, really cool mix. Honestly, this is really great for inspiration. You can just kind of dump this out and you'll get like a really cool inspiration. I don't know if you're a visual like I am, you'll get some really cool inspiration because there's just so much going on here. So, so much that you can incorporate into different sets. And then this one here, kind of same deal with the um, glitter and the shells. And this one has some stars in it. Like you could do like a really textured look with this because it looks like the things in here are a bit gritty. So that is super cool. I love the moon and star glitter. It looks like we have some dot glitter too. And then this color here, this is a gorgeous like burgundy like color. I don't see any shell in here. Yeah, a little bit, so, okay. There's even some pearls, there's a little chiton in here. Wow, okay, a star gemstone. Okay, this is, wow, what a really interesting mishmash. I'm not sure again that I would use this on its own um, because it's not like you can just encapsulate all the stuff that are in here with like the uh, crystals and stuff, but really great for inspiration. And then this one here, same sort of deal. Let's see what we can piece out of here. Okay, so it doesn't look like this one has any, this one you could just encaps encapsulate this whole thing into a nail. I see this for like New Year's because you have like your silver, you have your rose gold, and then even these like random green pieces. Super cool. And then this one here, lots going on in this one. This one would be more of like a textured nail. Yeah, so you have, looks like um, raw gold, almost like mined gold. And then, yeah, these like little like glass or I guess more like resin pieces. 
super cool, something that you could add onto a textured nail or like add them into crystal clusters. This one here is cool. It's got shell and pearls. And then look, you got some butterflies in there. Wow, okay. That's super cool. And then this one, another red one. This one is cool too, so it looks like this one has a little bit more flakes in there. These like butterfly things. Okay, this is cool. I don't want to breathe. Oh, okay, interesting. Do you see that? That's super cool. Um, yeah, I don't want to breathe too much around these because then they're going to fluff everywhere. Little beads, pearls. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, okay. Um, uh, what's it called? What am I trying to say? A uh, bow. That's so cool. What a treasure chest of wonder. Okay, let's see this blue one here. Okay, so, oh gosh, more like shells and stuff, more pearls, more four-pointed stars. Really, oh shoot, really, really super cool. Okay, now let's look at these ones. I'm not sure if these are in the same vein or not, but let's see. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. So these look like just a glitter. Ugh, I'm eating all of it, oh my gosh. I can see it just floating all around me. Oh, okay. So it has like little glitter and then like flowers in here also, and then like pieces of shell. Still eating it. That's pretty. I love that. That's going to be great to play with in the springtime. And then this purple one here. Let's see what this one has going on. Okay, so more of like that same deal. More flowers. And then like the iridescent. Oh, and this one has some stars in it too. Okay. That is super pretty. Okay, let's keep moving on. From this bag here. It looks like we have grids that are filled, this one with um, Halloween ones, and this one with Christmas, um, what am I trying to say, charms. So I'll take them all out and put them in their respective places, and I will be right back. Okay, so these are all the ones that are in here. I like the container. I've never had one like this before. I know that Walmart sells them and a lot of people have been telling me that I should use them for my gem storage, but um, I've never used it before, so I'm not sure if these are the good ones or not. But here's a mix of everything that's included in here. I love that it's not overly repetitive. Like, yes, most definitely there's a whole ton of skulls, but then you also have like this hand and I like this, um, this pumpkin and this ghost and this bat is like really nice and the white like really makes it stand out. I like that you have the different shades here. You have like the stark silver, the gunmetal silver, the white, the gold. I really like it. The only complaint that I would say is that I wish that they had a bigger one of these faces because they're really popular and this one's pretty tiny. But overall, I really like this one. Let's look at the Christmas one. So here's a breakdown of everything that's in there. I really like this candle here. Um, this present's really cute. This um, reindeer is awesome. This uh, Santa's awesome. I'm not sure what the apple is supposed to be or what it's supposed to represent or if they were just trying to fill it in. Oh, also this uh, candy cane is uh, really cute. So a really nice selection overall and it's nice that you have it in the container here. Super cool. All right, so let's keep it moving. In this next package here, we have a stamping plate. This one is so pretty. I really love that big flower there. That's going to be perfect for either watercoloring or reverse stamping. Okay, so this one is You Are Beautiful 03. Uh, so really like the selection of things that are on here. This one, as I said, is going to be perfect for reverse stamping or watercoloring. I really like these swirls this little lacy sort of design here with the 
looks like a bit of a, um, what's it called, like a rainstorm in there, which is cool. You see the clouds and the raindrops and the lightning, really super cool. But uh, really looking forward to using that in a design sometime soon. And what do we have in here? Oh, cute, oh my gosh. So these were so, so, so popular last year. Um, and I'm pretty sure I bought these last year also. So I'm glad to have another two in backup. But these ghosts are just absolutely adorable. I saw somebody recreate a set like this with um, acrylic recently. Oh my gosh, they're just adorable. Okay, and then it looks like we have another stamping plate. So this is two Joy Plus. Some people say Z Joy Plus. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Oh, I love the ones that have two. Oh, now I'm gonna pull them both off together. What a satisfying sound. If you don't like that sound, let me know in the comments down below. I always try to keep it in the video because people have said that they enjoy it, but if you don't enjoy it, let me know. And I can um, take it out if there's more people that hate it than love it. Um, but I really like these dainty, like kind of down the nail style ones. Like this one is really pretty, just a great way to amp up any look. Um, these ones here on like a V French would be cool. I love these, um, these moons, these like Lotus styles. Like this is just really, really, really up my alley. Okay, it looks like, I guess I must have um, grouped a whole bunch of stamping plates all together. Um, so these ones are CADS. CADS is a really great brand. I really like their etching and I like the different styles and designs that they come up with. I find them to be uh, pretty unique. Um, so yeah, so you could layer these together, I'm sure, if you wanted to. I like that you have the uh, tree here that you can layer too. Yeah, this is really cool. You have the koi fish, you have the um, cherry blossoms. Really, really, really cool plate. Oh, this is Chinese tutu, or 22, I guess. And then this one here, this is Nature 32. This one, I feel like I already have. It's giving me vibes of something that I already have, so I don't wanna take this off because then I can give it away to somebody and have it not be used. Um, but this is really pretty. I love the, um, I love all the wolves on here and then like the different moon, you could layer this on top of one another. Yeah, this is really, really cool. If I don't already have this in my collection, I'm excited to start using it. But um, if not, I can gift it to somebody else. Okay, it looks like another package with Cad's plates. I must have grouped all of these together as I was cleaning up. So this one is Ocean 17. Ooh, another one with two of the protective layers on it. I wonder why so many from AliExpress have two protective layers, but on um, for Maniology and Clear Jelly, there's, there's almost always only one. I don't think I've ever encountered two. Um, but this one is so cool, very like beachy theme. So you have your uh, palm trees, whole bunch of different palm trees, your waves. This one is really, really pretty. So that's really pretty. So that's Ocean 17. And then this one here is Chinese 37. These flowers are so pretty. Again, for reverse stamping or watercoloring. That's what I see when I see these big open flowers, even though like obviously they have it set up so that you could do layering. But this is really, really pretty. So Chinese 37. Oh, I'd be interested. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. I'd be interested to put these two together. If it's supposed to be like three pieces or what. But that is pretty nonetheless. Okay, let's see this next one here. Ooh, okay. So this one is Sky 007. Interesting. Okay. Wow, I really like this here. And then you have the um, you have the elephant with the trunk down. This is cool. This is like a maple leaf with a uh, mountain inside. It looks like. Okay, and then a tree, and it looks like there's a there's a what's it called a um, sun inside, and then a mountain. Wow, this is really cool. And this this here, I really like a lot of depth to this plate. That is wow, really super cool. Okay, now this one here, this one is Fashion 065. Another one with a double. So this is cool. So it's called Fashion. 
because I believe it has this stuff here, but all of this stuff here has nothing to do with fashion. So you have like this cat coming down the wall, peeking. I guess I would do this as like a black cat for Halloween. Um, and then these ones here, really cool, really symbolic. And then you have these like kind of textured style looks over here, but that, that would be for like a really super tiny nail. More cat stamping plates? Oh my gosh, I was on a cat's kick. Okay, this one I believe I already have also. This is Nature 006, and it's one of their uh, layering plates, so you can use this to do um, different leaves. So I believe it's one, two, three for one, and then like one, two, or no, 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 it's one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's what it is. So I'm not sure if I have this one, so I don't wanna take the uh, thing off, but I'll do an inventory and then um, add it to the giveaway pile. Even this one, I might have this one also because like I'm kind of really obsessed with um, with uh, leaf, leaf, leaf plates, especially in the fall time, but especially like the layered ones because you can do like a matte color or like a flat color and then like a glittery color. And I just, uh, I just, I really love them. Okay, and then this last CADS plate here, this one is feathers and then like some drop one. And this is Fashion 015. So this would be really cool to do like white feathers on. And then this one I would do like a silver brown feather. But this one, I'm not sure what that's supposed to look like. I'll have to stamp it out one day. And then it looks like we have some dual forms. Now, why on God's green earth would I buy dual forms? I have a bunch and I almost never use them. These are Philly Professional Nail Tools. I'm not sure if that means anything. Maybe I was looking for bigger ones. I'm not sure. Let's see, these look to be the biggest ones. Okay, so let's see. These look to be like almost etched on the inside. So really interesting. Okay, that one wouldn't fit, considering that I have acrylic nails on now, but yeah, this is still a little, a little shy for my nails but I'll check it again when I take these acrylic nails off but I do really really like this length so let's see how I can put that to good use Ooh, okay what do we have in here oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my good gosh all right so we have a couple of chains here I really enjoy working with chains, and if I'm being honest, I kind of hate that they come in these really, really tiny quantities. I would prefer if I could buy it in like a few meters instead of like maybe just like one meter, um, because I, I tend to use them quite often, and like when you're using them on a nail like around a crystal uh, cluster, you tend to use quite a bit of it. Um, so we have this style here, and then this style I like also. This one sits up a little bit higher and it's more like a rope design so just a little bit more ornate but i love 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 incorporating these into nail sets and then i'm not sure what would have prompted this i'm not even going to open it because i feel like i have exactly this already that i that i bought recently um, but again all this stuff i bought a long time ago and just never got the chance to haul um, so i'll put it in the giveaway pile if, if this is exactly the one that i just ordered but it's cool to have a whole grid of a whole bunch of different um, foil colors because these are really great to amp up a look just add like a little dab here a little dab there and then it looks like we have a whole bunch of mica flakes i'll open these up and go through them really quickly Okay, so let's take just a really quick look at these ones. So I have a whole bunch of these. I'm not sure why it was that I bought them all over again, but um, I'm not sure. Maybe these are a little bit different. I don't think so though. It's just, it's like I've said before, every once in a while you'll look at a listing on AliExpress and you'll think that something is really revolutionary, but maybe they stole the picture from somebody. Maybe they're like misrepresenting the product, but I find myself buying sometimes the same thing over and over and over because they represent them in such a way that they're just different from everything else on the market. Um, but yeah, so just a whole bunch of these um, like mica flakes. This color I don't even think I have, but I like that it's a dark moody purple. So let's keep moving on. Okay, so in this next package, it looks like we have these 
uh, little swatching things. These are great to put on the top of polishes that don't already have the swatch on top. I actually almost bought these again because I didn't realize that I had a package with them. So I'm happy to have these. And then... Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, so I'm glad that I opened this because there's some really cool stuff in here. But I also see something that I banned myself from buying for a minute now, which is some dried flowers. So, whoops, I must have done this before the dried flower ban, but um, that's cool that I have them. Um, so this one is like little cut up pieces, which this is really nice to have like just a whole bunch that are already cut up, that are already complementing sort of colors so that you can put them into a milk bath and you don't need to worry about taking like the big circle and like cutting them up individually. So this one has like a light purple, a beige and a blue. And then this one has, it looks like a purple, a pink and like a minty green color. That is super pretty. And then this one here, really beautiful like Easter time colors. So you have yellow, blue, green, purple, cool. And then what is this one? Okay, let's look at this one here. This one is actually perfect for this time of year. So you have orange, purple, beige, and then a little bit of pink. And these ones, I'm not sure what these ones are. These are a little bit different. I don't think I've ordered anything like this before. So these are just, okay, little like fluffs. Okay, I'm not sure how I would work with those, but I'll give it a shot. And it looks like we have it in a similar colorway, but with like some blues and beiges. This is, um, okay, all right, cool. And then these three here, I don't even want to open these because it looks like they're already spilled and I hate that packaging. Do you see that? Oh my gosh, I hate that packaging. But this is a really, really cool mix and different style of uh, flowers than I'm used to. And then let's take a look at this one also. This one looks to be a nice mix. And as I've mentioned before, I like having these mixes because I just kind of like dump them out and then you can get a whole bunch of inspiration. Um, from whatever's in here so I didn't realize that it has like one giant piece of gold flake like look how big that is and then you have like the uh, orange hydrangea leaves and then you have blue pink and yellow of those other flowers which you would just kind of chop up that's an interesting mix and then looks like we have a couple of oh my gosh a couple of little charms too this one is so cute so you have it looks like a black ghost. Oh my gosh, is that focusing? Uh, it looks like a black ghost coming out of a pumpkin. How cute is that? It's a little big and it will sit up on the nail, but how adorable. And then some watermelon slices, which would have been so awesome, especially this past summer when fruit nails were all the rage. And then I'm afraid to turn this over some dried flowers oh my gosh I have so many of this style of flowers and I wish that I had opened this already because especially this color would have been great uh, for some recent sets that I've done but it's okay uh this is interesting no address silver bag what could this be oh right right right, right. okay so this is a pigment that I got from the Colors World. I believe this is the one that changes color um, with UV. So I remember I wanted to make like some sort of an acrylic with this. So I'm excited to do that. Those are really cool because you like walk outside and it just changes color. Okay, let's see what we got going on in here. Oh my, so in this next package here, we have one lowly glitter. So this is number five. Not sure what this is or why I would buy one specific glitter, but I'll link it down below. Okay, so let's open up a few more packages and then we'll have to call it a day because this video is probably already way too long and I've probably lost most people's attention by now. Okay, so this one is from the Amazing Glitter Store and I know that I bought this a really, really long time ago because I haven't ordered from them in like forever. So they always give a few samples. This one is so cute, great for Valentine's Day. 
Um, I'm not sure if these ever mean anything, but this is WP06. This one says VA08. This one here is kind of cute. This one is D, I don't know. I don't even know, but I'll just show you this stuff and then, oh, this is so cute for like a baby shower. Um, yeah, I'm not, okay, samples. I, I don't know what else to say about it, but also I'm losing steam. It's very late at night. Okay, so this one here is pretty cool. So this is like an orange, a copper, and a dark blue. Cool. And then this one is an orange, a pink, and like a peach. And then another orange, yellow, and like iridescent. This one I feel like I already have. This is a pink, a purple, and like an iridescent. This one is cool, but bizarre. So it has hexagon glitter in small and medium, and then stars and snowflakes. This one is another weird one. So you have green hexes, white snowflakes, and red stars. That's probably gonna be pretty cool for Christmas time. This one is so Barbie. So you have light pink, hot pink, and like a beige. This one would be great for Easter. So you have green, iridescent, kind of like a minty color and a pink. And then we have purple and copper. Ooh, this one is really pretty for um, Christmas time because it's like red and green, but like you have super fine and small hexagons. So these are really great because then you don't have to put any color underneath. This can be like the only thing. You could put this on top of clear. This one would be really cool for a baby shower also because it's pink and blue. So if somebody, like even if somebody's doing like a gender reveal, that'd be cool. This one here, this one's interesting. So this is gold. It looks like teal and blue. All right. And then this is just, I guess like an iridescent yellow, but that's pretty cool. And then I have this giant bag here. This must be that like choice thing, you know, where you can buy like 10 items for like really super cheap because that seems to be the only time that I have this like mishmash of weird items. Let me just put this to the side. Okay, so first, and I don't know why I would do this, but it looks like we have a pack of rings. I'm sure I got this for like photography and filming. So we have this one here with a little like shell sort of style, really, really terrible quality. Um, blue and gray thing, whatever. Uh, another one with like some shell pieces, uh, not shell, like diamond style pieces, a green and a gray. Why would I have gotten these? I don't know. And then a blue and like a beige. Ay. And then this white here. No idea. No, no, no idea why I would have bought these when I have so many rings. And those aren't really unique. Uh, this is the uh, Mr. Green, as I've mentioned before. These are really, really awesome cuticle pushers, not cuticle pushers, cuticle nippers. Um, they stay like really sharp for a really long time. So every time I see them on that like choice thing, I always make sure to pick them up. Looks like we got some elastic string for when I make um, beaded bracelets. This um, tray here I got for when I'm doing acrylic so I can put monomer um, on one side and then my, um, my powder on the other side because if you have it on like a monomer soaked cloth sometimes the um like the paper towel gets stuck to the bottom of the um of the acrylic jar and then it ends up melting and it's just a whole thing and it looks like i got more rings again i don't know what i was thinking here but these are like i like stone rings i guess So at least they're nice and big they look like, so they'll like fit my fingers. So we have like this like, yeah, you can hear. Okay, so these are like a jade style. This is like, I don't know what this would be. Purple one, I don't know, what, what is this one? Lapis lazuli, I don't know. Um, and then this one, I don't know, like a white quartz. I don't know, but they're cute. At least these ones are cute. The other one, I'm really not sure what I'm going to do with them. They, they don't seem like good enough quality for anything. back in the box okay and then this here uh this looked a lot nicer online honestly um but the reason that i got these this is a tarot card holder 
and I thought that this would be really cool for if you use the, um, the, um, like, you know those, uh, what am I trying to say? I'm, I'm losing all of my steam right now. You know those cards that people like choose what kind of nail set they're going to do? Um, so you can put your cards on this so that you'll see it'll say like stiletto and green and flowers and whatever. So you can like have this up as you're designing your nail set. So that was kind of the purpose with these. And then it looks like we got some eyelash tweezers. So I thought these would be a little bit better because they're curved. I like to do, or at least now, I like to do the um, individual lash clusters instead of doing the whole, um, the whole band. I've really been enjoying that. So I thought this would be a much easier way to go about it. So that is that. Just such a random mix of things that you find on that part of the website. And then here, these are nippers for um, taking gems off. So I have one that I already use. I'm actually really annoyed that this doesn't have any sort of cover, um, but I like that this is a little slanted so you can like really get down in there and clip off your um, gemstones. And then the next thing that I got is an ink mixer. I think this is advertised for tattoo artists. Um, but there's these picks that I have that basically you stick inside this thing. Oh my gosh. Okay, so you put the picks in here and then you put batteries underneath. And then when you click this, the pick goes inside the um, polish and it gives it a really good stir. I have um, polish shakers that will just kind of like vibrate and they're like decent. Oh, here they are. They actually give you more. Um, okay, so they're decent, but sometimes when you have like a really thick polish, it doesn't do much. So basically you put this, okay, you put this here and then you can keep adding on for as long as you need them to be. And then you would stick this in your polish container and then press it. I don't know. Yeah, I have one. Um, okay, so you, you press it. It's easier if I have more picks on it. Um, so when you press it, this whole thing, it spins, but it also goes up and down. So I find this to be far superior to um, mix polish than the um, other like vibrating one. So that's the reason that I got this. And I think that's it from that bag. And this next package here, it looks like a little bit more glitter, um, but these are all sort of fall tones. So this is awesome. So you have like a champagne color, you have, uh, or I guess kind of like rose gold. And then this is not like a stark silver. It's kind of like a, like an old, an old silver. This color here, oh, beautiful for fall. And then this one here, this is more like a champagne color, like a true champagne. So happy to have this little quad here. All right, so in this next package here, we have some female slices for Valentine's Day. All right. So we have these different like pastel hearts. We have this red, pink, and um, white. These like hearts that say love on them, like these candy hearts and these ones. These ones are really, really, really cool. I'm excited to use these for some Valentine's Day. I feel like that's just gonna sneak up on us. Like Halloween is sneaking up on me right now. I can't believe we're already, um, as far as we are into October, I feel like it was July like a day ago oh my gosh so that is everything thank you so 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 much for watching i hope that you enjoyed this if you did i hope you give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and until next time and as always have an amazing day bye